Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be part two and a very special Chanel unboxing. If you've seen my last video, it was the shoe um, unboxing together with this purchase. And without further ado, let's just get started. So here is the lovely Chanel um, paper bag with a beautiful camellia on. I know the glare is probably really bright. But anyway, last week, um, if you haven't seen my last video, I was in Las Vegas and of course a trip to Vegas wouldn't be complete without visiting the boutiques that are there. Since um, all the boutiques are pretty much close by walking distance um, from, you know, on the strip. Yeah, so I just visited the one in the Bellagio Chanel. That being said, I did look around. Um, I saw this handbag right away. Um, I did think, I do feel like this is going to be a handbag that will complete my Chanel collection. It has been part of my long-term wish list um, for quite some time. And all my essays know I'm looking for this. I've always... Um, you know, let them know, like, oh, I'm looking for this particular bag. If you get it, let me know. I'll be your first girl to purchase it. So anyway, I think I'll just stop talking now and start unboxing, and then I can tell you more about it. So it does have a bow right here. Um, the shoe essay actually gave me some magazines as well. Let me see. This is edition 14 and 13. So she gave me a magazine. I'm not sure which one I received in the mail recently, but anyway, you know, it's still nice. And it is still sealed in, like, plastic wrap, which I haven't gotten before. Um, anyway, let's just take this lovely thing out from the size of the box. I think you all can guess what this is. It is so beautiful. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Anyway, um, let me just remove the camellia and the bow. I think that guy was pretty new. He didn't really wrap the bow like the us they usually do, but you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just mentioning it. And let me remove it so technically I did pay for this in Las Vegas already but um, they had two one their back stock was um, for someone else that was on a waiting list and then the floor display was perfect and I would have purchased that one but in the bottom of the bag there was a I don't want to say scratch there was just like a, a crease or a natural dent. Um, I don't really know how to describe it um, on the leather because when you touch it, you don't feel it, but you do see it. So there's, um, yeah, it's kind of confusing. And that wouldn't have bothered me. It was in the bottom of the, the purse and... Um, but you know what, she, Jamie, who helped me in Las Vegas, checked at South Coast and they had a brand new one from the back. And so this happened. I did pay for this in Las Vegas, like I mentioned, and then picked it up at the South Coast Plaza. And then that way I also just paid the sales tax for South Coast in case you, were, you guys were wondering and so they did tape like my receipt on on top and the guy who um got it from the back for me just kind of yanked it off and this is what happened i it was kind of sad um i gasped as soon as i saw him pull it that quick and you know the box was well i guess the box now is a little imperfect but um, it does have all the information, so it's not like we could just have switched the box top. But you know what? I was set on getting this, and so I did. Let's 
open her up. The box is off. I'll show you all the information after. Comes in a small dust bag like so. I think you guys can guess what this is. And it has this foam and in the bottom it has the care instructions booklet. Oh, let's take it out then. Yeah. It has the care instructions and what not. So without further ado, let's unbox this beauty. It comes with a cute dust bag like so to reveal. Ta da! This is the beautiful rectangular mini in um, light gold. It's like a metallic light gold caviar leather. And it does have a light gold hardware as well. If you can see, it's not like the yellow that we usually see on classics. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited to add this to my collection. Finally, I have a rectangular mini. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I love my square mini so much. It's actually right here behind me. Um, but I've always wanted to just get a, a rectangular mini too. But I never seem to find it in caviar or if there was caviar in a color I was interested in it's from overseas and all that anyway basically it was pretty hard for me to get the perfect one that i wanted and i did think about getting waiting for a black caviar mini rectangular but then again i already have my black square with the matte gold hardware antique matte gold hardware and I just wanted something different. I wanted something light colored, which this is perfect. Um, yeah, and I'm just super excited. It's so beautiful. So you could easily tell that as soon as I walked into the Bellagio Chanel, I my eyes went straight to this, and I was actually quite surprised that there was a mini that I didn't know about. There was um, a rectangular mini that I didn't know about, um, mostly because I didn't, I haven't really been to the Chanel boutique in a, in a for a while. Um, I've been purchasing from Bloomingdale's just because my essay at Bloomingdale's keeps me updated on everything. And as far as their fall buy for rectangular minis. I think they're getting only lambskin, so I knew that, you know, Bloomingdale's wasn't going to get caviar, so I passed, and yeah, so, and then I saw this, and just completely fell in love. This is the only caviar that I know the boutiques have. Um, looking around at South Coast Plaza, at the boutique, they didn't really display any of their minis, while in Las Vegas, they had a bunch of minis out. They had a black um, lambskin on the floor. They had, um, by on the floor, I mean like on display. <laughs> they had the black lambskin. They had a patent, um, kind of like a deep, like a raspberry pink. Um, and then they also have a lambskin of that color similar color um what else was there they had a lot of rectangular minis on display and at south coast they didn't really have them out i don't know if they still have any maybe it's just sold out but this one luckily is um you know was i purchased it and so they put it on hold for pickup if that makes sense and show you the details of the bag it does have the newer tag which has the authenticity code on it so I'm gonna cover it the authenticity code so it has the you know 16b which is fall act 2 um, the style code the color is gold M and all that and 
good stuff. If you can see it. And then in the back, here is the price tag. It says light gold flap. And you know the rectangular mini did is um, retails for thirty one hundred in the U S. But yeah, I'm just super excited to add this. Anyway, I keep talking, but let's just go ahead and open it. Oh, and the one in Vegas for some reason didn't. You know, both of the bags, even the one in the back, which I did inspect. Um, doesn't have the sticker anymore and they also didn't have this felt cover so I thought that was um, kind of different so felt cover off and look at that beauty it's so beautiful so it is in the light gold hardware like I mentioned beautiful quilting it's so puffy with you know a little bit of <clears throat> it's kind of there's a little it's a little bit pressed in the middle of the quilting but that's totally fine I don't I don't I didn't expect it to be puffy since it is caviar and I know lambskin tends to be a little bit more puffier than caviar and this one didn't have that crease or dent in the bottom. So the one in Las Vegas had like um, a natural leather dent crease, whatever you want to call it, um, in the bottom. And then, so let me see. Filling the authenticity card, which is wrapped and paper so this is brand new they never took it out except for when the essay took a picture and sent it to the Las Vegas essay and yeah so the inside I did notice immediately that the strap is a little bit longer than my square mini um, I can't show you right now but during my comparison video which I plan to do I'll make sure to include that but yeah so it just has a zip pocket and a um, slip pocket right in front of it and it is beautifully made in France Chanel made in France in light gold as you can see right there in the back and yeah it's just so beautiful I can't believe I have completed my long-term wish list from Chanel. I'm not saying that this is my last handbag from Chanel because we all know how that goes, but I am pretty satisfied right now with adding this to my collection and checking it off my long-term wish list. I am waitlisted for a couple more things from Chanel, but um, nothing that you know has been on my mind for so long like this rectangular mini so anyway um yeah i just keep talking now so anyway that is my rectangular mini in caviar leather light gold caviar leather light gold hardware um yeah i think that's it for this video i'm very excited to add this little baby to my collection um and stay tuned for my comparison video with my square mini i've been wanting to do that as well um yeah i think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye